Namaste. There are a lot of distractions when for a sadhaka when he is uh, trying to progress in his spiritual path. These distractions are like uh, because sadhakas are usually very kind-hearted, they often worry about the suffering of humanity at large, the war happening, all the corruption and the poverty and the illiteracy and hunger and homelessness and all kinds of issues of the world, it often worries them. It only shows how kind-hearted you are and how good a person you are and that you really uh, think and you know empathize with the world issues is good. But the thing is, you have to focus on your sadhana. See, when uh, for a student, he even though there might be so many issues in the neighborhood or in the family, uh, minor issues, not very major ones, of course, that then the of course the studies even are affected. But uh, all the other issues, they keep them aside, isn't it? Because the they are very focused on the exams. They have to do well in it. You know, if you are preparing for a competitive exam, all your focus is in it during that time. Because otherwise, if you are during that time, if you are worried about world issues and, uh, you know, your state issues or country issues, then how, how would you, you know, do well now? So, even so, you have to take the spiritual path in that sense. You, yourself, you can, you know, think that, well, this three months time, I will completely as as far as possible uh, doing my duties at home or at work or uh, managing uh, my uh, studies or whatever other than that i will try my best to dedicate myself to the spiritual practice to this technique for three months or you can do that even for 10 days every month so at least for that time then you can completely focus and intensify your sadhana and you see when you have done your sadhana and when you reach the goal you see that well this world has no absolute reality you have to you know you have to before that at least you have to remind yourself again and again that this world has no absolute reality it's just a learning experience for every soul whichever soul wherever they are whatever they are going through it's always a learning experience for them souls have chosen those experiences for them so it's not that you shouldn't do anything not that you will do whatever you can in your capacity like in your neighborhood you give food to the stray dog you help out the beggar sometimes you give food to the beggar if there's a poor kid in your neighborhood who is good in studies, you try to tutor him a bit during Sundays. You do good things according to your capacity. Okay, that is good because that will be helpful for your own spiritual progress. Not in a calculative way, I'm doing this because I want this. No, you just do it because it's good to, you know, build a good nature. It's... Uh, First, you have to be a good human being, isn't it? So, be a good human being. And of course, then you are, pro you progress from there towards more spiritual, you know, higher levels. So, it's important that we are kind and we are sympathetic human beings. So, but other than that, don't worry so much so that you can't focus on your sadhana. When a scientist is working on his own invention or discovery or, you know, whatever his things then he's completely focused in that otherwise you can't achieve success if you keep uh, you know this uh, if you think that uh, now this is also important then you will be distracted not for one lifetime you will spend lifetime after lifetime after lifetime but you know even buddha he uh, every life you see if you read the jataka stories he uh, gave up his life for you know for others sake even so many lifetimes before to help somebody to help somebody but at last he even he understood that until you reach the highest level you are in no position actually to help others you wouldn't be able to help others really so you have to be in a position of power and spirituality gives you that gives you that that position of power that strength uh, so it's of utmost necessity that you focus 
for the time being on your spiritual progress not forgetting that you want to do good to the world but not worrying on like what how would you help by worrying isn't it you can only help by doing something and when when can you do something only when you are in a position of power uh, don't let the worries distract you from your path that's all when you focus on the negative issues of the world you don't help in any way rather you are adding up into the negativity in the collective human consciousness so you can only help others by being happy yourself because by being happy you are adding into the collective happiness and you are lessening that little tiny bit of negativity in the world and if you are just worrying and focusing on the negative the darker sides of society then you are adding on to the darkness rather than helping it out so be happy stay positive stay happy and only that way you can help हरिओम जय माँ